Can overexercising damage your heart? As a fitness enthusiast, I often hear concerns from relatives and friends about the potential risks of intense workouts, particularly when it comes to heart health. With heart disease being the leading cause of death worldwide, it's understandable that people want to be cautious and ensure they're not putting themselves at risk of a heart attack. So, in this video, we'll be exploring the relationship between heart attacks and gym time, the risks of overexercising, and how to have a safe and effective workout routine. Understanding the risks of overexercising. While exercise is generally considered one of the best things you can do for your health, it is possible to have too much of a good thing. Overexercising, also known as exercise addiction or compulsive exercise, is a real and potentially dangerous phenomenon. It's characterized by a compulsion to exercise, regardless of any negative consequences like injury, fatigue, or negative impacts on social or work life. Overexercising can lead to a range of negative physical and mental health outcomes, including muscle and joint damage, chronic fatigue, weakened immune system, and depression or anxiety. But perhaps the most concerning risk of overexercising is the potential for heart attack or sudden cardiac arrest. While this is rare, it's important to understand the science behind it and take steps to prevent it. The science behind heart attacks during exercise. During exercise, your heart rate and blood pressure naturally increase to deliver more oxygen and nutrients to your muscles. This is a normal and healthy response to physical activity. However, if you push yourself too hard or have underlying heart conditions, this increased demand on your heart can become dangerous. A heart attack occurs when the blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked, usually by a blood clot. This can happen during exercise if there's a buildup of plaque in your arteries or if you have a condition called coronary artery disease. While most heart attacks occur while at rest, they can also happen during physical activity, particularly if you're engaging in intense or prolonged exercise. Sudden cardiac arrest, on the other hand, is when the heart suddenly stops beating due to an electrical problem. This is different from a heart attack, which is caused by a blockage in the arteries. However, sudden cardiac arrest can also occur during exercise, particularly in people with underlying heart conditions. Symptoms of overexertion and heart attacks. It's important to be aware of the signs of overexertion and heart attack, both for yourself and for others around you. Overexertion can cause symptoms like extreme fatigue, muscle pain, nausea, and dizziness. If you experience these symptoms, it's important to stop exercising and rest. Symptoms of a heart attack, on the other hand, can be more severe and include chest pain or discomfort, shortness of breath, nausea or lightheadedness, and pain or discomfort in other areas of the upper body like the arms, neck, or jaw. If you suspect that you or someone else is having a heart attack, call emergency services immediately. How to prevent heart attacks during intense workouts. While the risks of heart attack and sudden cardiac arrest during exercise are relatively low, it's important to take steps to mitigate these risks. Firstly, it's important to consult with your doctor before starting any new exercise program, particularly if you have underlying heart conditions. Secondly, it's important to start gradually and slowly increase the intensity and duration of your workouts. Don't push yourself too hard too fast, and listen to your body signals. If you're feeling excessively fatigued or experiencing any pain or discomfort, take a break and rest. Thirdly, make sure you're properly hydrated and nourished before, during, and after exercise. This means drinking plenty of water and consuming a balanced diet with plenty of protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats. Lastly, it's important to warm up before exercise and cool down afterwards. This can help prevent injury and reduce the stress on your heart. A proper warm-up should include some light aerobic activity and stretching, while a cool-down should focus on gentle stretching and slowing down your heart rate. The Benefits of Exercise for Heart Health While it's important to be aware of the potential risks of overexercising, it's also important to recognize the many benefits of exercise for heart health. Regular exercise can help lower your risk of heart disease by improving your blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and blood sugar regulation. 
It can also help you maintain a healthy weight, reduce stress and anxiety, and improve your overall quality of life. The American Heart Association recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise per week for adults, along with muscle strengthening activities at least two days per week. This can include activities like brisk walking, cycling, swimming, or dancing. Finding the right balance. How much exercise is too much? So, how do you find the right balance between getting enough exercise for heart health without putting yourself at risk of overexertion or heart attack? The key is to listen to your body and be aware of the signs of overexertion. If you're just starting out with exercise, it's important to start gradually and build up your fitness level over time. Aim for a mix of moderate intensity aerobic exercise and strength training, and don't be afraid to take rest days when you need them. If you're already an experienced exerciser, make sure you're not pushing yourself too hard or neglecting other areas of your life in favor of exercise. It's important to have a balanced and sustainable approach to fitness, rather than an all-or-nothing mindset. Common Misconceptions About Exercise and Heart Health Firstly, some people believe that more exercise is always better, but as we've already discussed, there is such a thing as overexercising. Secondly, some people believe that only intense or high-impact exercise is effective for heart health, but in reality, low-impact activities like walking or swimming can be just as beneficial. Lastly, some people believe that exercise is only important for weight loss, but in fact, exercise has a wide range of health benefits beyond just weight management. Tips for a safe and effective workout routine Here are some tips for building a safe and effective workout routine that supports heart health. Consult with your doctor before starting any new exercise program, particularly if you have underlying heart conditions. Start gradually and build up the intensity and duration of your workouts over time. Stay hydrated and nourished with a balanced diet and plenty of water. Warm up before exercise and cool down afterwards. Listen to your body's signals and take rest days when you need them. Aim for a mix of moderate intensity aerobic exercise and strength training. Don't neglect other areas of your life in favor of exercise. Have a balanced and sustainable approach to fitness. Conclusion staying healthy and active without putting your heart at risk. In conclusion, exercise is an incredibly important component of heart health, but it's important to be aware of the potential risks of overexercising and take steps to prevent them. By listening to your body, starting gradually, and finding a sustainable balance between exercise and other areas of your life, you can enjoy the many benefits of exercise without putting your heart at risk. So, if you're ready to start a new exercise program or take your fitness to the next level, remember to prioritize safety and sustainability, and consult with your doctor if you have any concerns. With the right approach, you can stay healthy and active without putting your heart at risk.